Ladies and gentlemen, good day. This is Mr. Nambani from the Nambani Academy. Uh, thank you very much for all the support you've been giving us. Uh, currently running a series of review of content. And fortunately enough, today we'll be starting with the electrochemistry and specifically looking into an electrolytic cell. But, but our, our main focus will be now on the electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution. Why this one specifically? It, it has been assessed a couple of times and the diagnostic report informs us that most of our learners still don't get it right. So I hope after this video, uh, you will have a clear understanding as to how to approach electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution. There's a lot of uh, things that most people don't understand. So the idea of this video is just to ensure that you get the basics and also incorporate uh, this question with other uh, concepts in paper two. So without wasting any time, I would like to say thank you for your support. And most importantly, uh, don't forget now to subscribe, uh, share and like the, the videos that we, we, we do. And tell somebody of us just that we can grow the community uh, because it is what keeps us going in terms of making these videos. So now this question was taken from a previous question paper from DBE. I think it was May, June 2022. So before we get into the question specifically, I want us now to look into a point of saying, how will this cell now operate? This cell will have now my ions, which is sodium plus and Cl minus. But with that, because I am told that we have a solution here so it means it i am working in the presence of now what of an aqua solution so it says to me water is now uh, present from this statement i am told that now h2o must be must be present so remember in our table of uh, standard potentials or reduction potentials, we also do have water forming part of the standard potential. So what does it say? It says now I can have water that can either undergo oxidation or also undergo now a reduction for that met. So what does this say to me? It says now I have water that can either undergo oxidation or can either go reduction. So that is what most people now forget because they will only be now focusing on sodium chloride, or sorry, sodium ions, as well as now the Cl minus, forgetting that we now have water in the equa uh, in our standard reduction potentials, and by so doing then they omit water and everything now becomes incorrect uh, because of that. So this is what I'm going to, to try and explain. Let's start by saying what is it that will happen now at anode? So at anode, we know we are going to have oxidation. So we are going to have two standard reduction potentials uh, there. So the first one will be the easy one, which is now 2Cl minus. All this information is taken from table 4B, giving us Cl2 plus now two electrons. And I'm going to write now the E0 value, which is plus 1,36V. And then we also have now 2H2O as now that gives us now plus now 4H plus plus four electrons. I'm going to write the E naught value. The E naught value is plus one comma two three V. So this is now the two half reactions that we get at the anode. In this instance, we do not know which one is an anode. Is it X? Is it Y? We do not know. But generally, this is what we will have. So I am going now to change my pen and say 
what will happen now at cathode at cathode what will happen is we'll still have now two other uh, half reactions the reason is that now remember sodium plus ions can undergo oxidation or reduction because it's still an ion so we need now to refer to our table also and you still have now water so i'm going now to start by writing that we have now the water that can undergo reduction and that is now 2H2O plus two electrons giving now us H2 plus now OH minus I'm going to write the E naught value minus 8,3V and we are still going to have sodium plus ions plus one electron giving us now sodium and i'm going to write now the e naught which is 2,71 v so the e naughts are there as reference for you to check now on your table 4b so now we need to check the rule of thumb is just focus on the uh, half reaction that is just more positive because we are moving towards the revision uh, period i'm just interested in how to get the correct answers the science thereof shall follow so the question here says to me what must i do in terms of ensuring that i choose or write the correct uh, oxidation half cell what is it that i can do in terms of writing now the correct oxidation half cell as well as a reduction half cell so with this being said it says to me the rule of thumb is to choose the one that is more positive so when i check the e naught value of cl minus it is plus 1,36 v that is now more positive and when i check now at the cathode where reduction will take place the negative 0, 0,83 v it is the one that is now more positive compared now to the half reaction of sodium so what does this mean it says i am only going to work with these half reactions so these two half reactions are the half reactions that i need now for me to answer all the questions related now to uh, electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution so remember once they tell us that we have a solution an aqueous solution it means that now water is present so water can either undergo oxidation and now a uh, reduction for one to understand we must go back and look into what we say or call the electrolysis of water but because it's not part of uh, the revised atps after uh, the COVID, so this is just a way of us understanding the two half cells that we are going so after analyzing everything then i can easily go and try now to answer the questions thereof so the first question is uh, define the term electrolysis so for an easy two marks we are going to define electrolysis and remember we can only use the definitions as they appear in our exam guideline so at 9.1 it's easy for one to say electrolysis is a process so this is now the chemical process chemical process in which electrical energy in which electrical energy is converted converted to chemical to chemical so now this is very very key for each and every one of us to understand so this becomes now nice two marks the reason for that is we used a definition as it appears in the uh, exam guideline so chemical process in which electrical energy is converted into chemical energy how can one remember this it's easy we move now to 
uh, the cell itself it must have a power source and this power source now must be a dc uh, power power source you must just remember that because it's some at times uh, are questions that are being being asked so that is now at at uh, 9.1 and looking at 9.2 now chlorine gas cl2 is released now at electrode x so now let's check the half reactions we wrote we said at anode we have 2 cl minus which is our ion that produces now cl2 gas and this is taking place now at an unnote and where a unnote if we have an unnote then we know that oxidation is taking place so now the letter write down the letter of the electrode where oxidation takes place that one is very easy we are told that at x we have now cl2 being produced so we are going to write here cl2 gas is now released and the fact that cl2 gas is released it basically says it is happening at electrode x that is where now the oxidation is taking place so the correct answer here should be x and it becomes easy because i have outlined exactly the two half reactions that i have now the question comes again and say now the half reaction that takes place at electrode y so we know now if this one is unknown then it basically says this one must be cathode and reduction must take place on on this one so if this is the key thing or the information that i have extrapolated from my basic concept then i can easily say at 9.22 9.22 i have the the half reaction that will be now 2h2o plus 2 electrons giving us now uh, h2 plus now oh minus and this will be my uh, there's a two also here two uh, half half cell and then there's a two there remember that also then this will be my uh, half reaction that takes place at electrode Y. So the mere fact that I included or I wrote down the half reactions before allowed me now to be in a position of uh, ensuring that definitely I am writing everything the correct possible way we can. So the key thing here is it must be one arrow because it is reduction and it's either two or zero don't use double arrows because we have committed that we are working now with a reduction half set then this becomes an easy an easy two marks so now uh, the question now comes to say at 9.23 the direction in which electrons flow in an external circuit so because we said at x we have unknown and unknown or x oxidation it's now the loss of electrons it means now our electrons must move in this direction there and then moving in that direction is because uh, cl minus it's now being uh, losing the electrons so then the effect that's losing electrons the electrons will move from x to y then the correct answer here should be now from x to y and now that can be another one mark for for us it's as simple as that because i have now understood exactly how the cell operates now at 9.24 uh, write down the balanced equation for the net cell that takes place in the cell this one becomes now easy also because i have the two half reactions oxidation and reduction half cells so it's easy for me now to say 9.2.4 i am just going to have 2cl 2cl minus i am just going to have now 
2Cl minus plus now 2H2O, which will produce now the Cl gas, Cl2 gas, plus now H2 plus H minus 2OH minus. So this becomes now our our net cell because we have already picked that at anode we are going to work with the Cl minus and at cathode we are going to work now with uh, water that is undergoing reduction and that will be now negative 0.83 V from the standard tables and this is now becomes an easy uh, three marks for one to get because everything is just sitting right into its place. So with that being said, then it says to me, I can further move into understanding question 9.3. How will the pH of the electrolyte changes or change during the reaction choose from increase decrease into this looking into this is what is it that the net cell is telling us the net cell is telling us that the cell is producing more of now the OH minus ions so the fact that OH minus ions are produced it means now the solution is going to become basic we can relate now this question with what with acids and base where now an acid is defined as a substance that now produces the OH minus ions or the hydroxide ions when dissolved in water so the mere fact that now we have OH minus being formed. It means now this solution is going to become basic. And in our, in our pH scale, we know once we move from 7 to 14, that is now where we start talking of a solution becoming basic. So the solution will become basic in this instance because we have now the OH minus ions being produced. What does that say in terms of our answer here? It says now our answer should be increased at 9.3. It is that it increases. The reason for that is the OH minus ions are formed, but now the resin is at 9.4. So at 9.4, they say give a resin for the reaction uh, for the answer to question 9.3. So this now is that the solution becomes basic. Solution becomes basic because of the OH ions that are being formed. Or one can say now OH ions uh, are formed. So once the OH ions are formed, it basically says we have more of the OH ions in this uh, cell. So for, for that fact, it basically says the solution will be now uh, basic and we now relate now acids and base with uh, electrochemistry or electrolytic cell or even electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution. So I hope the video will assist uh, because now we are working with integration of topics because we are approaching uh, the final exam. So remember this is some of the questions that can be asked in terms of how to integrate uh, the topics thereof. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also to grow our community. Kindly inform somebody of us such that we can make now the physical science possible and easy for you to pass and uh, be in a position of doing extremely well. So for me, and the team, thank you very much and have a lovely day.